Thank you for calling Octavia Stewart's LTD. We create custom tees, topicals, and tones for the woman who feels out of balance. So I came back to talk about um, my consultations. So I have a chakra consultation, and um, it's also it's actually called the chakra balance consultation. And so when we do the chakra balance consultation, um, what I, how I usually start is by asking my client what do they know about chakras or if they know anything about chakras. And then we will go into a brief overview or I will go into a brief overview about what chakras are. Um, we will talk about, I will talk about subtle energies. I make a quick reference to like good vibes and bad vibes that we get from people or situations. Um, then I talk about the word chakra, what it means, and where it comes from. Um, the basic, the basic um, description of the chakras, they are um, seven wheels that, of energy that are inside of our bodies. It has a lot to do with metaphysics, uh, the chemical makeup and the chemical um, design of your, your body. Um, the chakras are the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the core chakra or navel chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, or the brow chakra, and um, the very last chakra that I discuss is the crown chakra. And so um, once I discuss those elements of those chakras and how it looks when they're in balance and out of balance, then I ask my client which one do they feel um, needs the most balance and then once we speak about that then I let the client talk about why they're here you know what they want to talk about how they're feeling what kind of led them to this point where they feel like they need some balance um, I frame it under the scope of the chakras because it's just when you're dealing with stuff like this, you need some type of framework. But what it ends up being is this um, dialogue between two people that is about healing and about progress and about taking time for yourself and doing something for yourself. Um, Octavia's is not, not invasive. There is no uh, prerequisite or paperwork to fill out. I don't ask you any personal type of questions all the information that we speak about is something that you give me um, while we're speaking and um, usually in the process I will talk about my soaks and my soaps um, I do talk a lot about my soaps but it's really just a lead-in to um, start relationship and start conversation start dialogue with with people and with women that want to get balanced so um, once we cover that, like I said, I let the client talk about what they need, where they are, and um, it gives them a chance to kind of maybe vent off some type of fears and anxieties. And it doesn't always equate to like someone taking notes on them and you know pushing medication or pushing something that they don't really know about. Um, I really feel the key to discovering um, these balances is, is inside, you know, confronting issues and being able to talk about things and just the one thing, you know, but also the overall, um, you don't have to travel anywhere to get the stuff, to get the conversation, to get the dialogue and to get the balance. Um, you don't have to drive anywhere to get the product. Everything is delivered. And, um, so once the client tells me about what she wants to share with me, I this um, keep it really basic, like uh, pinpointing to make sure that they're consuming enough water, hydrating throughout the day. Um, you should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water. And those can come from sources like water, or you can have fruit and veggie, whatever agrees with you, but that's... Uh, most important 
and then I'll ask them, are they having, are they doing any exercises or any type of rigorous activity? Um, walking around, shopping is not um, my idea of rigorous activity. Um, it's something that you do regularly pretty much at the same time every day and you have an intended purpose for it. Um, the other stuff that we'll talk about is you're eating right, incorporating the right type of um, foods into your diet, and um, also um, how you manage the stress in your environment, which could be anything for, from as much as um, cell phone over usage or something like that. You can refrain from something like that to manage stress. Maybe turning your phone off or something for a couple of hours at a select time uh, to manage stress. So we'll just go over um, environmental stresses and how to make some changes with that. And then um, once they get the information about the balancing um, techniques or methods, then, like I said, they might um, get product from me or they may just have something that they can use to start their process of balance or just really pay attention to themselves. And um, then we just take it from there. And then I follow up with them and see how they're doing. So um, I also have a one-on-one -on -one consultation that I do, which is more in-depth consultation and um, takes a little bit longer and product that you would want from my inventory um, will be a part of that consultation package. And ultimately it turns into this home spa that you can enjoy um, at your leisure, but also have a absolute intention for it and have enough of it where you can use it regularly at least for you know three weeks to a month and start your um, start your road to balance and start integrating some new techniques and methods into your life and start feeling better so that's what I have for now um, my website is store.octavias.com so please go check it out I'm making some changes to the website and um, some price changes as well. So um, I would like to come back and talk to talk about my one-on-one -on -one consultations, uh, holiday market, and some other products. So thank you for tuning in again and have a great day.